Detroit, Michigan, and my husband Eric and I and our son Christian, we are on an epic road trip. So we're taking about 10 days, maybe two weeks um, off and driving from New York City all the way to Detroit. So we made it with a couple of stops along the way. And I will definitely have some travel vlogs coming to you guys soon. But today, I thought it would be a great time to show you guys what I brought on this trip, what I've worn so far. And just to give you kind of like a preview of how I like to pack for vacations. So if you want to see any of my other travel vlogs and packing videos, I will drop a link down to my playlist down in the description box. But without further ado, let's get into it. So obviously I packed this nap dress. <laughs> so this is a Hill House nap dress. I think this style is called the Ellie and it is so comfortable so comfortable that this is the second time that i'm wearing it on this trip <laughs> so we have about a four and a half hour drive from detroit up to toronto later on this afternoon so i just want it to be cute and comfortable so that is what i'm wearing and I'll try to pop up pictures or a video of everything. I'm not gonna do like a whole styling because I'm on vacation and kind of pressed for time. <laughs> but I'll just show you guys what I actually brought on this trip. And if you wanna see how I actually style these outfits and everything, I highly recommend you follow me on Instagram. Uh, your girl has been doing reels and TikToks lately. So if you wanna check out some of those and just see how I wear these outfits in the wild, <laughs> definitely check me out on those channels so first up i have this gorgeous orange or kind of rust colored or pumpkin color since we are coming into fall uh mini dress from road so this is the road ella dress and it has these nice balloon sleeves with the elastic on the wrist and then what i love about it is just how full the skirt is so it's definitely twirl worthy so this one I actually wound up wearing to dinner with my dad and his girlfriend. So there's a great restaurant downtown Detroit called Roast. Phenomenal food. I had a great steak. Eric and I split the ribeye. And this is what I wore to that dinner. And then another dress because it has been so hot here, guys. <laughs> I did not think that it would be so hot in Detroit. It's been like 90 degrees plus every day that we've been here. So in any case, I brought this linen maxi dress with this gorgeous floral print. So if you've seen my Wildflower by H&M collection video, uh, you guys have seen this before, but I love this dress. It's linen and it's fully lined and it's just, it has these thin spaghetti straps. So I just wear a strapless bra with it and it's just so breezy and light. So this dress I wore when we all went up to Henry Ford Museum and Greenfield Village. And whew, I'm so glad that I had this on because it was hot, y'all. <laughs> it was so hot. So that was the perfect thing to wear. And then this other dress I love. And I haven't worn it this year yet, I don't think. I got this last summer. It's also from H&M. And it's this puff sleeve sort of square necked uh, mini dress and I love this bubblegum pink color It's one of my favorite colors in the world and this one is long sleeve and it has uh, kind of not a French cuff but like two buttons here on the cuff and it's short it hits me above the knee I'm five foot seven and I just love how the shape kind of flares out away from the body it's very flattering so this dress I wore when we went up to Flint Michigan we took Christian to see Thomas the Engine. So they had a real life Thomas the Train engine ride up in Flint in a village called Huckleberry Village or Huckleberry Railroad. And he had so much fun and this was the perfect outfit to wear. Just casual, easy breezy. Threw on my pink Teva sandals, was comfortable but still looked cute for pictures. And yeah, 
very glad that I brought this with me. And then next, you guys have seen this before. I wear this dress quite a bit. So this is that dress that I got from Walmart and it's inside out. <laughs> All right, I fixed it, that's better. So yes, I love this dress. I think it's so preppy, but still cute. And it has this sort of ruffle detail on the shoulders and it is completely smocked throughout. So very stretchy, especially if you have a larger bust like me. And I love this pattern and it has pockets. You guys know I love a dress with pockets. And I think this dress I might have paid like 15 bucks for it. So, you know, you really can't beat that deal. I don't know if they have this particular color in stock, but I know it comes in different prints and patterns. So I will link any options to anything that I've shown here um, down below if it's available or something similar for you guys, as always. And then next up, I have this Seersucker Maxi Dress. And it's in this beautiful like gingham print and I think that this is a nice transitional dress as we're going from summer into fall but it is seersucker which is typically associated with summer but I feel like the print is definitely like a fall print so it's like navy blue and tan and cream and it's quite long it definitely even though I'm five foot seven it like hits the floor um, it like skims my ankle depending on the shoes that I'm wearing so the only thing it doesn't have pockets but <laughs> it's okay but it has this sort of peekaboo effect in the back and it has like a, a tie around the neck so it's sort of like a halter but it still has these puffy sleeves so i've had this dress for several years so i'm not sure that i'm well i'm positive asos no longer carries this one but i'll see if i can find some options down for you guys below because this is a great dress and one that um, i feel like it's a classic piece that i'll have in my wardrobe for years to come Next up is a jumpsuit. So this jumpsuit I love. I absolutely adore white eyelet dresses for summertime. And when J. Crew came out with this jumpsuit version, I knew I had to have it. I was in love. So I love this sort of ruffle detail on the shoulder and I'm actually, even though I'm five foot seven, I have a very short torso. <laughs> so the straps were a little long on me. So I haven't had a chance to take it to the tailor yet. I don't know if I'm even going to do that, but I just put a safety pin here to kind of tack it into place. Um, but despite that, I love it. It's so comfortable and so feminine and beautiful. And you know, it's a jumpsuit, so it's casual and it has pockets. You can dress it up or down. This one I wore. I'm not sure what I wore it to. I think, oh, I know. I just hung out with my mom. So I, the main reason we're taking this trip is because I have not been to Detroit since February last year. And that was for a funeral. So I have not seen my family in Detroit. My dad did come visit me recently in New York City. But other than that, I haven't seen my brother, my mom, my aunts, my cousins. So yeah, my nieces and nephews. So it's been great to be here and just be with my family. This trip has been phenomenal and don't worry, I will be sharing with you the highlights soon. But yeah, this was just great to wear just to have dinner with my mom and my brother and his family and do some shopping around the city, taking my mom out to Target, her favorite store. So yeah, this was a great piece to bring with me. Next up is a piece that I haven't worn yet and I'm not sure if I am actually gonna wear this on this trip, but it's never a bad idea to bring extras. <laughs> especially when you're on a road trip you don't have to worry about weight requirements with your luggage so this is another dress from that wildflower collection and this is the one that's that kind of butter yellow with the lavender or violet flowers going throughout and it also has a sort of you can wear it off the shoulder because it's elastic around the neckline and it has the puffy sleeves and then what i like about it is that the back is out so it looks like a two-piece looks like a, a crop top and skirt from the back but if you don't want to show your tummy like me <laughs> yeah I'm still working on snatchery but it's not there yet so <laughs> this is a great little option there where you can show some skin without revealing too much so yeah I love this dress very comfortable but I'm not sure if I'm gonna actually wear it I might wear it out to dinner or something so we'll see 
And then another dress that I have not worn yet on this trip is this dress that I got from Amazon. So this is kind of reminiscent of those Hill House nap dresses. Uh, it has the smocked detail on the bust and the puffy sleeves that you can wear on the shoulder or off the shoulder. It has a little tie at the waist and it has um, this Swiss dot fabric, which is so light and breezy. So the top portion of this is not lined. So actually I was gonna wear it, but the bra that I had on the, at the time, you could see it. So I just took it off and wore something else. But I might give it another shot later on during this trip. So that is that. And I still got more stuff in here. <laughs> like I said, we're on a two week trip. Plus we don't have to worry about the airport and checking luggage and all that. So I packed a lot of things. So next up is this beautiful lavender gingham dress with the pom-pom details. This dress was like one of my best purchases. Like I definitely am getting my bang for my buck. I've worn this twice i think two <laughs> we have a washer dryer here so that was actually the plan i actually didn't even bring an outfit for every day i think um i had planned to repeat some things hence me wearing this twice um wearing this twice so <laughs> i did some laundry and but this dress back to this dress this dress i got from shein and i want to say it was definitely less than 30 bucks it might have even been like 15 or 20 dollars I love it so much. And it's a nice substantial fabric. Well, the fabric is light and breezy, but there's a lot of it. So it's definitely has like a twirl factor to it. And I love the fullness. It makes it look more expensive than what it is. But this dress is absolutely stunning. I get tons of compliments anytime I wear it. So happy to have brought this with me. And then next up, Oh, this is the shirt that I wore actually on the drive up here or over here. Yeah, because we're kind of on the same latitude. So the drive over, <laughs> I always travel with some sort of um, button-up Oxford tunic. So I brought this uh, baby blue one with me, but usually I'll pack a white one with me, one or two, because these are just great to toss on. Like I also brought my bathing suit in case we go to the beach so I could use this as a cover-up. And it's just comfortable and easy. If it gets chilly at night, I can like toss this on. And I just wore it with a pair of leggings. And then next, I have this nap dress that I have not worn yet. I think I will wear this when we're up in Toronto. And it is this floral print number that I got from Amazon. Again, it's very much reminiscent of the Hill House nap dress style. So it has that smock detail. This one has a little bow right here. And the puffy sleeve, well, it used to be puffy sleeves with the elastic. <laughs> snapped in one of the sleeves so I went ahead and just cut the elastic out of the other one too so now it's kind of like a flutter sleeve but yeah this is just easy breezy to toss on and it travels very well it's like a seersucker fabric too so I like that because typically seersucker comes in like the stripes so I like that this one is floral brought another jumpsuit with me and this one is a linen blend jumpsuit from Old Navy. If you watched any of my previous videos, you may have mentioned how much I love Old Navy jumpsuits. I usually buy one or two every year. I actually didn't buy one this year, um, but this one I got last year and they always have different styles and colors and like slight variations on the cut. But this one I love, it has pockets and it's this beautiful neutral, sort of olive green color and this is a great transitional piece as we're going from summer into fall so in the summer when it's really hot i've worn this just sleeveless without putting any sort of top underneath it but as we go into fall you can easily layer this so i actually brought this top from ghani so i got this from bergdorf goodman it's by the brand ghani love their pieces to death i got it on sale because originally this top was 200 dollars, and i don't know it's a cute top <laughs> and it's good quality like it even has little snaps inside to clip onto your bra so it doesn't um fall off your shoulders and your bra straps not showing but 
is this worth $200? Mm, I don't know. I paid $40 for it. So <laughs> I'm a happy camper and I think the color is beautiful. I love the way it looks with this olive green. So I have not worn this yet, but I think when we go to Niagara Falls, we're going to go to the Canadian side. Um, I will definitely be wearing this outfit. So happy to have this with me. And I think the last dress, is this the last dress I brought? No, nope. two more. <laughs> so the second to last dress that I brought is this beautiful one that I snagged at the Zara sale. So I think originally this one was like 80 bucks or 70 bucks and I got it for 30 and this dress is so gorgeous. Like look at this embroidery detail and then it has these little pom-pom tassels right here and it's just breezy and light and elegant. I think I can just throw this on for like a casual dinner when we've been ripping and running all day. So yeah, love that. And then last, <laughs> we're gonna end with another Hill House nap dress. So anytime I pack for vacation, I sort of have um, like a theme. I'll bring like similar pieces to kind of like channel the mood. So the mood for this trip is just capturing like end of summer memories and whatnot. So maybe I was feeling romantic and nostalgic as I packed. But I packed a lot of these very feminine sort of Regency era dresses. So I'm ending with the Hill House Nesley dress. And this one is in... Uh, this sort of blue plaid pattern like it's kind of hard to see if you come in close you can see it It's not just baby blue. It's actually um, Some silvery threads woven throughout it And you can wear it on the shoulder or off it has a little tie in the back if you want to wear it up on your shoulders But if you loosen it or untie it it comes down and it's just like off the shoulder So I love this dress so much very very comfortable I think I'm actually going to wear this on the drive back to New York City. So that is it for outfits. In terms of other things that I packed, I'll just give you a quick rundown. So of course, I brought my collapsible Cult Gaia bag. So this bag packs flat, but you just unfold it like this. And voila, there you have a nice little bamboo tote that you can carry with you. Very chic and elegant, but takes up very little space in your bag. Another thing that I always bring on vacation is one of these like satin kimono style robes. So you can get these on Amazon and I think I got this one from Shein, but these are very great because they pack up very small and flat. So they take up no space in your bag and they're just really elegant because some hotels, like we're staying in sort of an Airbnb type situation, so there were no like fancy robes and whatnot, but it's just nice to kind of have something to lay around and lounge around your hotel room in. And then for bags, I also brought my Longchamp backpack. I love this thing so much because, it, you know, Longchamp bags, they all pack down into like a little square. So you can just toss them into your luggage very easily, especially if you buy a lot of souvenirs or go shopping and you want to have an extra bag to take things home with you. And inside of my Longchamp, I also have this poncho that I got from J. Crew that I showed you guys in a recent video. So luckily we have missed the rain. Like there were two torrential downpours and we happened to be sort of doing like a little day trip and so we missed both of them. So knock on wood that that keeps up. <laughs> and let's see. Oh, in this bag, I love packing cubes. This is how I store all of my items. So I keep all of my um, unmentionables, my underwear, lingerie, uh, pajamas, things like that. I keep inside of a little packing cube and then it comes in handy because when you have your dirty clothes and you want to take them back and you don't want them mixed in with all of your other items, you can just put them back inside of the packing cube. And then for toiletries, I keep my toiletries in a good old Ziploc gallon bag. <laughs> I bring a lot of toiletries with me just because I like to pamper myself when I travel. So I have two gallon sized bags of just my toiletries. So this is all the stuff for my body and this is for my face. I know it's kind of extra, but it's vacation. <laughs> Now, when I do travel on airplanes, um, I do consolidate and I would probably just bring one bag full of toiletry items. But, you know, since we do have plenty of space in the car, that's what I did. So, 
And let's see what else. Oh, I brought my Loewe basket bag. And that's in another room, so I'm not gonna bring that in. But I also brought this little Coach crossbody bag. I love this bag to pieces because I feel like I can wear it with both black outfits and also too with when I wear brown because it kind of has both of those colorways. And then inside is my jewelry case. So this is a little Fendi um, beauty clutch. Actually, I'm gonna do a tutorial soon because I'm gonna turn this into a crossbody bag. So I will show you guys how I do that when I get around to it. But for now, <laughs> I'm using it to store my jewelry because it has a mirror right here so I can kind of see myself as I'm getting ready and putting on my jewelry and then I like to keep my jewelry pretty neat. Oops. Your girl lost a bracelet. Okay. <laughs> but I keep all of my jewelry in its little dust bag. So these are my um, necklace and earrings from Bergdorf and then I have my Mickey Moto earrings that I'm wearing here you guys saw I got those for Christmas or Eric got them for me for Christmas and I keep those in their little pouch as well a little travel pouch so yeah all of my little bits and baubles I keep in here all consolidated with this little mirror and this little uh Dior tote that I got uh and I'll have a tutorial coming up at some point whenever I get around to <laughs> transforming this into a crossbody because it, it looks just like those saddle bags see so yeah stay tuned for that and then lastly for shoes i kept it very light because i have so many dresses with me um and i knew they were going to be like sightseeing and like hanging out with family so i didn't need anything too fancy but i brought of course my Hermes sandals because they go with everything they're super comfy great quality amazing i've worn these pretty much with everything i've brought with me and then I also brought the Zara dupes that I showed you guys before. I don't see them in my bag right now. I hope they're in there. <laughs> and then I also brought my pink Teva sandals. These are kind of gross, so I'm gonna put these back. Um, but I have a little separate compartment here. You see all my shoes are packed separately from my clothing. So keep those from getting dirty. And then I brought these little sports sandals from Zara. So they're like um, the lug soles. So very, very comfy and I can wear these. I think I wore these when we went to Flint. And they have a little Velcro strap right here. So cute and comfy. And then I brought my Stan Smith sneakers. I actually brought some workout gear too, which I have not touched. <laughs> I brought two leggings and two sports bras, so I don't know. I had good intentions, but it, you know, I'm only halfway through my trip, so there's still time. Um, but yes, that is that. That is everything that I packed with me on vacation. So guys, thank you so much for tuning in, listening to me talk about clothes, talk about going on vacation, road trips. <laughs> I love making these videos and I love you guys so much for tuning in to my little corner of YouTube. As always, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. I put out videos on fashion, beauty, lifestyle, a little bit of travel sprinkled in here and there too. Weekly, sometimes twice. But your girl's been a little bit off since I've been on vacation. But we'll be back to our regularly scheduled programming soon. So as always, until next time, stay classy and stay fabulous.